20 to 50,000 children starve to death every day. If we don't do something to help them, then who the hell will? Look at this article from United Nations News. Over 330 million children worldwide living in extreme poverty. I gotta take 30 seconds to show you how you can easily feed orphans in a poor part of the world. First just use Google and find an orphanage in a poor part of the world. Then use Google to find a nearby grocery store or food wholesaler that can deliver. Then just place the order and have it delivered. Let's check out the world hunger map. It says 710 million people don't have enough food to eat every day. Why don't I hear about that on the news here in America? Let's zoom in on Sudan, where there is a war going on and 20 million people don't have enough food to eat every day. Population, 46.6 million. 38.2% of the children have chronic malnutrition. 16.1 million people with insufficient food consumption. But if we go over here to South Sudan, there is another 3.2 million without enough food. Let's check out 30 seconds of clips talking about the war and its effect on the people of Sudan. On December 19th, 2018, a revolution started to spread throughout Sudan. After decades of living under President Omar Bashir's brutal military regime, civilians pushed back. They wanted a democracy in their country. A few months later, this man and this man helped take down Bashir in a coup and then promised protesters the future they had demanded. Four years later, the same two men are now at war with each other, tearing Sudan apart, killing hundreds of civilians. Moving on to other news now, and it's 100 days since fighting started in Sudan between the army and the paramilitary rapid support forces. The conflict has increased food shortages and worsened hunger. Before the violence began, 16 million people didn't have enough to eat, but now the United Nations says another 3 million have no access to food. How can the leaders of Sudan see that their actions are making millions of people starve and they just continue to fight for power? Being a leader of a country is supposed to be about helping the people, not about gaining more wealth and power. How can we help end hunger in Sudan? We can't help end the war there, but we can get food to starving orphans. If 20 million people in Sudan don't have enough food, then 100 million meals would only feed them each five meals. A normal American with a normal job might only be able to provide hundreds of meals or maybe even thousands. But it would take someone very, very rich to make a serious impact on the hunger in Sudan. I'm here to report the news but to also show how we as individuals can help children who are starving in poor parts of the world. Okay, let's find an orphanage in Sudan. Let's just type into Google something like orphanage in Sudan. Okay, let's try this one. And here's the address. Now that we have found an orphanage in Sudan, the next step is to find a nearby grocery store or food wholesaler that can deliver the food. Then the final step is to just place the order and put the orphanage address as the shipping address. So let's type into Google, grocery store in Katorum, Sudan. I have spent hours searching online and gotten bad results, mainly because all the grocery stores and food wholesalers don't have websites or email addresses that I can contact. They do have phone numbers, but I do not speak Arabic. It says online that there are 114 languages spoken in Sudan. Finding a place near the orphanage that will deliver the food was not easy, but the best place that I found was this website called africells.com. And here is a list of products that I can buy and have them shipped it directly to the orphanage. The stuff on here seems very expensive, but I know the price of food in Sudan has gone through the roof. So we found an orphanage and a nearby food supplier so now we just have to place the order and have it delivered. When we place the order online, we just have to put the orphanage address as the shipping address. It's that easy. Buying food and having it delivered directly to an orphanage is a much better idea than giving your money to a charity because you know exactly where the money is going and you know that every dollar is spent on food for orphans in a poor part of the world. I am just giving you a rough draft example of how you can get food delivered to starving orphans in poor parts of the world.
This is the only way that I've been able to think of how a normal person can get food delivered to orphans in poor parts of the world without actually having to fly over there and waste all that money on an expensive trip. I'd rather save that $1,000 plane ticket and use that for extra food for the orphans.